Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance, as well as the author of Migraines and Epilepsies, Migraines and Epilepsy, How to Find Relief, Live Well, and Protect Your Brain. And today we're going to talk about a recent study looking at the use of vitamin D and fish oils and whether or not they were able to help with migraine. Now I will tell you that some studies are designed to fail. And um, I've seen this lots of times over the years where, uh, just an example, there was a recent study looking at vitamin D and vitamin A in use of um, some type of liver injury. And it's nothing I would have ever thought. And sure enough, the study didn't show any causative effect, but that totally made sense because you wouldn't use vitamin A and vitamin D to help protect the liver. And so it was one of those studies that was designed to fail. And this one is not too far off. So in the study they used, um, it was a little over a thousand uh, migraine sufferers and they used 2,000 um, IUs of vitamin D and a thousand milligrams of uh, essential fatty acids, omega-3 supplements per day. Now, two things to comment on that is first of all, those are just low dosages, period, let alone somebody who's got a chronic condition like migraines. Um, I, as an average, I typically recommend 6,000 IUs of vitamin D and at least 2,000 um, milligrams of fish oils a day. So for somebody with a problem, like that's way under what they should be taking. So that's the first thing to, say, and to, to point out. Um, so obviously in this study, they didn't find a positive benefit of that, but they wouldn't have. The other thing to understand is that supplements are not drugs. They are not designed to work by themselves to fix anything. They are all part of the package. So it's the frustrating thing that when you look at clinical studies uh, that look for supplements, they try to use them as drugs. and They're not designed to do that. That's something that's very important. So certainly you could throw uh, other things, you know, certainly vitamin D, potentially fish oils, Magnesium is high on the list, fever few. There are definitely things that can help with migraines, but they should only be used as part of a comprehensive lifestyle approach because ultimately we are talking about blood vessel health. When we're talking about migraines, we're not talking about, when I say that they're related to blood vessels, this isn't the old oh, well, they, the blood vessels constricted and that caused the aura. And then when the body responded and opened up the blood vessels, that's where you get that pounding migraine headache. And that's where all the tryptans, the drugs that they, because um, those have tendency to constrict the blood vessels. And they, they still, we know that that's not really what happens in migraines. And yet those class of drugs do still work for migraines, um, which is interesting. But when we're talking about migraines, it's, it's about blood vessel health. That's really what it boils down to. It's not about the CGRP, C protein, the, the new uh, you know, Amovig and those glasses. Like, it's about blood vessel health, and you have to adopt a lifestyle that's very friendly for your blood vessels. Are, are fish oils and our vitamin D part of that plan? Well, yes. So is sunlight exposure and nitric oxide. There's a lot of things that I go over in my book that are designed to help you heal from migraines. And yes, that can be done, but you have to treat your blood vessels with respect. Until you do that, anything, including most drugs, are just going to be a band-aid because you're not fixing the underlying problem. As always, I will post a link to this particular study in the description, even though it's a study that didn't show a positive benefit. Uh, make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.